Okay, the uh, heart of the solar system to get 120 volts is the Zantec Pro 1000, which gives a pure sign. These are the two AGM batteries, Lifeline 6 volt, uh, kind of a jammed in there, and I modified this cover. It was the old single cover, and I made it a double, so it'll vent out. Um, controversy on whether or not you should vent it or not, but I've t decided to be safe and do it. Um, there's the fuse for the um, inverter. And the inverter I've got plugged in and it goes inside the cab. I'll show you. It traces down right up above the bed. Okay, the uh, solar system is hooked up to a little panel that I built. Uh, I, while I was at it, I decided to add a 12 volt receptacle right here in the middle, and uh, which powers the fan. We can have, have a fan at night if uh, we need it. And uh, I've got one 120 volt receptacle, which uh, will power the, the RV. It, it gives me the enough electricity, really. I don't need that much 120. I could run the television with a DVD player if I wanted to, or you know, whatever I need. Uh, the other receptacles are down in the basement, which allows me to run tools or a compressor or something. And the nice thing is, I like the um, switch. I can turn the inverter off from here, which is very handy. Uh, you, do, you can leave the inverter on, but I prefer to keep it off when I'm not using it. This fan is pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll last, but I think with my two 6-volt AGM batteries, it'll last a while. Quite a bit of power. A little noisy, but I kind of like the white noise at night. You got people making noise around you, it's going to kind of drown it out. But yeah, that's a good, uh, good fan.